always gets a lot of hate. And it's more so because he is a well-known public figure outside of the game of football as well. Been trending a lot recently, not just for football, but for other reasons as well, crappy reasons. Odell Beckham Jr. Should we be concerned about the performance that he had against Baltimore in week one? I mean, I can go ahead and just tell you what the stats were. They're not that hard to remember. Three receptions for 22 yards. Nothing impressive. But I will say that Beckham did have 10 targets in that game. And targets, ladies and gentlemen, tells us that they are interested in involving that player in the game plan. So Beckham is still a good piece and a big piece of that Cleveland Browns offense. Is he the best receiver in that uh, Browns offense? Mm, I personally say so just because of talent, but I, I understand. I would not blame you if you said that Jarvis Landry is better than Odell Beckham. But three receptions is not that promising at all. Granted, it was the Baltimore Ravens, and granted, he did get 10 targets, but he dropped a pass that really shifted the momentum. I believe it was the score was 17-6 to at one point. And then Kareem Hunt made this uh, eight-yard reception or eight-yard gain, and they were in a good position to get a first down. If Odell Beckham were to just catch this pass and they were been they would have been in scoring range and the whole momentum of the game would have been shifted if Beckham just caught, caught this one pass. He didn't. He dropped it. That's kind of concerning. But I'm going to go ahead and say, because we like to look at the positive perspective of things, say that Odell Beckham with that 10 targets, you have nothing to worry about with Odell Beckham. Some trade rumors going around. Maybe the Patriots. Yeah. There's trade rumors every year for Odell Beckham. But if he's going to stay in Cleveland, I believe that they're still going to incorporate him in that Cleveland Browns offense. Let me read you a quote by Odell Beckham this past Sunday after that game against the Ravens. And this is talking about how Beckham was not involved early in that game. He wasn't involved. He wasn't targeted until the second quarter. So the first quarter, nothing at all. Let me go ahead and read you that quote. He was asked, do you like to be targeted early? He said, absolutely. It's like a shooter putting up a couple threes early and you hit one, two of them like, God knows you might drop 60. You know what I mean? I would love to get involved early, but it just didn't go that way on Sunday. You know what that quote tells me? That quote tells me that this Thursday against the Cincinnati Bengals, he's going to be involved heavily and targeted early in that game. So, Be on the lookout for Odell Beckham, especially against that secondary against Cincinnati, which isn't a powerhouse secondary. He could have a breakout game that Thursday. And if he doesn't, then yeah, maybe after that you should be concerned. But I think we should wait until week two at least to see how he fares against the Bengals defense. And if he were to go off, Beckham is that best receiver in that Cleveland Browns offense. So to sum it up, we're really not too much concerned with Odell Beckham.